Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back. As you can see, I've cleaned up the steel chainsaw. And on this part, I will be going to go ahead and put it together. Um, here I have the top and the bottom of the chainsaw, the crank and the piston, a couple bolts here, and here is a case. You know, now I've cleaned it out, now it's a lot nicer. A lot nicer. It's not as dirty and icky like it was. Uh, got some oil seals here and stuff. Yeah, these oil seals were nice and uh, nice and easy. They look good. So anyway, so first I need to go ahead and um, put the piston back in here shouldn't be too hard there's like a little bit of a um, angle here so it should I should be able to just push it in there real easy see yeah there we go If possible. <laughs> I'm hearing an odd angle here. Come on, get in there. Ah, dang. Well, um, YouTubers, if you've been watching the news or you've been hearing what's been going on, I uh, hear in Utah and everything, I heard that they're going to partially reopen the state. Up again you know because uh, the coronavirus has been um, I guess maybe um, a little threat has been gone um, I don't know but um oh my word this game possible I'm hoping that that uh, we can go ahead and go back to kind of like normal kind of go back to normal how it is you know but uh, who knows maybe we'll have like another month of uh, being in isolation here um, I've been here I kind of like been in isolation for about a, a month and a half I think or maybe two months I really don't know uh, but it's been been kind of boring oh come on man don't give me a hard time So got one ring in.
Come on, baby, get in there. Come on, yeah, you get okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was not easy. The thing is that the, the rings are very, very, you know, um, they're not easy to push in and it's really, uh, it's really stuck in there really good. Okay, now go ahead and put in the oil seals. You always want to put in the oil seizer, seals and stuff with uh, the little little springs in here and the inside. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn it over a couple of times to make sure that everything, okay, I think everything in there is nice and fit really good. You guys don't mind, but I'm gonna put on a little bit of music because I like to uh, I listen to some music and stuff so my brain doesn't get bored. Now, what I want to do is that here on this section here. This is the lower half. What I want to do on this section, I want to go ahead and uh, spread a little bit of uh, of a uh, gasket sealant here, some sealant here, and on this side, and then go ahead and very gently put it together and um, and not bolt it down right away. Now, what happens is that is that the sealant and stuff as um, as it gets older and everything and as it um, as um, heats up and cools down or things starts to break through break down and then what happens is that the the gas oil mixture starts to go through starts bleeding through and then you lose compression of um, on the down compression pre-compression as it's called to go to the top so I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that now go ahead and just um There we go, just a little bit there, not a whole bunch. Now I want to put some right here too.
I'll put that on that oil seal just a tiny bit. Push it up like this, or put it together like this. I like to put it upside down. This here is just to go ahead and uh, give some time for the adhesive or for the gap for the. This um, I guess good stuff to go ahead and uh, get in there and dry and make sure it gets a good sealant in between. really good so it's all completely sealed up I'm going to give about a little bit of time to go ahead and, and let this harden and dry before I put it on here so in the meat in the meanwhile I'm going to go ahead and work on something else okay so I'm going to go ahead and go over and work on the carburetor of this guy this is a um, Warboro carburetor it is a uh, what does it say here HD model HD model yeah and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put in a new um, gasket kit or diaphragm kit as it called there's a there's a diaphragm kit it is a D10 HT try to get was I try to get a whole uh, rebuild kit but they don't have any so I but uh, all I needed was just to, for the you know new new um, carb excuse me I can't even talk today um, all thing I need is just um, a new uh, diaphragm kit so that's all I really need okay Here is it's called the the pump part. Basically, what happens here is because the that the air that's in here of the um, impulse, what it does, it drives the it drives it drives this meter here, which pumps the gas through, basically. first.
take out these little bolts here. This one's a little bit dry, it's a little bit stiff. I, these need to be uh, nice and soft and in good shape. Looks really clean in there, which is really good. Man, this guy really knows how to play piano. I'm just watching this YouTube video on this one guy in Russia who plays piano, but he's homeless. But he's a really good piano player. Now, I don't know his name. Um, it's some kind of really long Russian name, and I probably... I probably just butchered if I even try to say it. You know, there's no way I could even say it. Okay. So there we have this um, carburetor. And it's in very, very good shape. Um, I don't know why Caesar wanted me to look at this and stuff. The only thing I found that was really weird and stuff is that on here, we have two tanks here. This one tank here is oil, is for chain oil. This is just oil for the chain. And the, this would be like a little bit of like um, W30 weight, but a little bit more thicker. Uh, it'd be a chain oil that's just basically w, w3, W30 oil. And it'd be really thick. Over here you have gas and oil mixed, uh, 32 to 1 mix, but what I saw is that this gas here, it looked like it was not, there was no oil in it, nothing at all, and this oil here it looked like it was a two-stroke oil, so I guess maybe, um, I don't know, maybe they're running it and everything and, and it stopped or something, or maybe they're trying to run it, and the chain couldn't run because it didn't have, did not, was not running the proper oil. So it got stuck in her thing, so uh, Caesar told me to look at this, but that's what I found, because I saw that the gas in here did not have any oil at all. It was not, um, you can tell when the, when a gas has some type of additive to it and everything because of the color. So it either be blue or red, and it was just straight gas. So I don't know if, um, I really don't know. I don't know if like, 